Morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. We've got mixed trade overnight with beans lower and uh, the corn and wheat slightly higher. Outside markets kind of watching uh, the U.S. jobs data report and uh, trying to figure out where the market's going to go uh, after the Fed chairman this week said that inflation is transitory. As far as the beans are concerned, pretty big sell-off yesterday. Uh, I think there was talk in the marketplace First of all, that Brazil uh, crop is being planted at a very rapid pace under mostly favorable conditions. And that rapid pace has the farmers in Brazil selling their old crop beans, which allows Brazil to offer uh, some November and December soybean cargoes. It's not a lot, but it could every one that they sell is one less that the U.S. sells. We also would think that there's a possibility that They'll have beans ready for export as soon as January. And so that offers some resistance to our bean market with some people um, bringing exports down as low as 1.8 billion versus the government's 2090. So uh, in next week's report, we thought they'd take 90 million bushels off uh, exports. And if they have a higher crop, they might add 100 million bushels to the 320 carryout. But now, it looks like the carryout uh, could even be bigger with the lower export demand. And so uh, while U.S. Um, prices of fertilizer, global prices of fertilizer might reduce uh, the need for corn acres or at least farmers planting corn acres next year in the U.S. Um, and planting more beans, we really don't need those bean acres. So the market may have a, a problem in uh, trying to digest uh, that bit of news. Uh, corn and wheat maybe rallied overnight, uh, covering some shorts into the weekend and going into next week. Um, USDA, I think the corn market uh, seeing good ethanol demand, but it's not seeing the export demand uh, that might justify the USDA increasing exports next week. So then uh, the corn carryout may be unchanged at uh, 1,500 million bushels, which could be bearish to prices. In the wheat market, a uh, pretty big sell-off started um, in the Minneapolis futures when cash basis levels dropped as fast as the futures were going up, suggesting that the recent rally had something more to do with uh, speculative buying more than cash support. Uh, the market's trying to find support now with higher Russian uh, wheat prices and maybe lower exports. Uh, we also note that um, La Nina could offer some dryness in parts of the U.S. next uh, spring and summer and, and could lower the hard wheat and soft wheat production. Um, other than that, uh, you know, we haven't seen a, a lot of new business for U.S. wheat, but um, we could be competitive in January and the, uh, especially uh, North African and Middle East countries are short wheat and, and they need to buy it. Um, so we'll be watching the wheat market and see if it gains on corn and soybeans. And we'll be watching the soybean market to see if it uh, continues to drop. Other than that, uh, weather-wise, U.S. is dry, which could be for good for harvest. Russia's mostly dry. Uh, some rains in Argentina and some rains in Brazil. But we're starting to see long-range maps show some dryness in southern Brazil and parts of northeast Argentina, which is very La Nina-like. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM Aid Invest Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day. Have a good weekend. And uh, remember, always treat, to, treat people like you yourself would like to be treated.